Welcome to a journey back in time, as we revisit the Roaring Twenties. A decade of historic highs and lows in the U.S. stock market. A period of jazz, flappers, and bootleggers, the Twenties also bore witness to a roller coaster ride in the financial world. This epic was marked by unprecedented economic growth, yet it culminated in the infamous Wall Street crash of 1929. The echoes of this era still reverberate in our financial decisions today, shaping our understanding of market dynamics and investor psychology. So buckle up as we delve into the lessons we can learn from this fascinating era. The Roaring Twenties, a decade of great economic growth and widespread prosperity, was marked by a strong stock market boom. Indeed, the Twenties roared with the sound of coins clinking and stocks climbing. This era was characterized by an economic boom like no other. But what contributed to this monumental success? Well, first came the technological advancements. The 20s saw the birth of many industries that are pivotal today. From automobiles to telephones, radios to refrigerators, new technologies were sprouting up everywhere, leading to massive industrial growth. These advancements fueled a surge in productivity, which in turn drove the stock market to new heights. Next, we had easy credit. Banks were more than willing to lend, and people were more than willing to borrow. This easy access to credit led to increased consumer spending and investment in the stock market. The result? A skyrocketing economy. However, not all was as rosy as it seemed. Speculative investments also played a significant role in the stock market boom of the 20s. Investors, lured by the promise of quick and easy profits, poured money into stocks with little regard for their underlying value. This speculation created an unsustainable bubble in the stock market, setting the stage for the eventual crash. However, as history has shown us, what goes up must come down. And the Roaring Twenties were no exception. The boom of the Roaring Twenties came to a grinding halt with the Great Crash of 1929. This was a time when the exuberant optimism of the era was replaced by a sobering reality. The stock market, once a playground for the hopeful, became a field of broken dreams. The Great Crash was not just a sudden event. It was the culmination of a series of factors that had been brewing beneath the surface. Overspeculation was one of the prime culprits. Investors, blinded by the allure of quick profits, bought stocks on margin, borrowing money to purchase more than they could afford. This created an inflated market, a bubble ready to burst at the slightest provocation. This provocation came in the form of a tight monetary policy. The Federal Reserve, in an attempt to curb the rampant speculation, increased interest rates. This made borrowing more expensive, and as a result, those who had bought stocks on margin were left in a precarious position. But the final nail in the coffin was widespread panic. As stock prices began to fall, investors rushed to sell their holdings. This selling frenzy only served to accelerate the market's descent. The more people sold, the further prices fell, creating a vicious cycle of fear and loss. The Great Crash was not just a financial disaster, it was a societal upheaval. It marked the end of an era, the end of the Roaring Twenties. In its wake, it left the Great Depression, a time of immense economic hardship that would impact the lives of millions. The Great Crash marked the end of the Roaring Twenties and the beginning of the Great Depression, a time of great economic hardship. Despite its tumultuous end, the Roaring Twenties offer valuable lessons for today's investors. The decade was a roller coaster ride, filled with dizzying highs and crushing lows, a testament to the unpredictable nature of the stock market. Yet within this chaos lie invaluable nuggets of wisdom. One of the most striking takeaways from this era is the peril of overspeculation. The boom of the 20s was fueled by rampant speculation, with investors often buying stocks on margin, essentially on borrowed money. When the bubble burst, those who had overextended themselves were left in financial ruin. This serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of investing within one's means and the dangers of excessive debt. The 20s also underscored the importance of sound monetary policy. The Federal Reserve, in an attempt to curb the stock market frenzy, raised interest rates, tipping the economy into the Great Depression. This episode highlights the delicate balance central banks must maintain to support economic growth while keeping inflation in check. 
Moreover, the decade brought to light the need for investor education and regulation to prevent market panics. The stock market crash of 1929 was in part due to panic selling, fueled by rumors and misinformation. This underscores the importance of financial literacy and well-regulated financial markets to ensure investor confidence and market stability. As we look back at the Roaring Twenties, we are reminded that while the stock market can offer great rewards, it also carries significant risks. By learning from the past, we can better navigate the future.